This insane electric off-road SUV from China is apparently going to go on sale in Europe and other parts of the world next year. That's the plan. Dongfeng's crazy looking electric off-road SUV is, I think, really cool. It's insane, but I don't know why it, it just appeals to me for some strange reason. It has CATL's new battery pack, which is quite big. It's a 142 kilowatt hour pack. But crazy thing is, this vehicle actually, it's much smaller than a Cybertruck, but it weighs more than the Cybertruck. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. This is technically a military vehicle the Chinese government use. You can see in these images here, the, the vehicles being driven along roads, I think possibly around the Himalayan region, maybe. And it's being used by the Chinese government. Soon though, you'll be able to order one outside of China. Europe, apparently the company you're targeting, and the Middle East, with possibly other countries to follow. The M Hero 917 is a hardcore off-road electric SUV, which is currently only available in China, but very soon that will change. Apparently the company are actually testing their vehicles in Europe right now. The M Hero is actually made by Dongfeng, and Dongfeng is a Chinese-owned company, only a Chinese car company, essentially. I actually owned a Dongfeng EV. It was pretty good. And um, I recently sold that to someone here on the channel. So that um, was uh, a vehicle he ended up using for energy storage because it wasn't legally allowed to be driven on the roads. Anyway, the 917 is M Heroes. It's their electric off-road vehicle, which is their hero car. It comes as an electric version, plus as a plug-in hybrid version. The electric version has over 1,000 horsepower. And apparently, Dongfeng are specifically targeting first these four car markets, Germany, France, Sweden, and Norway, plus the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia. And it sounds like there could be more countries to follow after that. Amazingly, the company are even hiring test drivers in Europe to drive them around on European roads to give them feedback on what they think, and if there's anything they need to improve. How big is it? It's five meters long, it's 2,080 millimeters wide, it's pretty wide, and it's 1,935 millimeters tall. Wheelbase is 2,950 millimeters, or just under three meters. So it's not quite as big as it looks. To me, it looks massive, but actually, it's not that big. For example, the BYD Yang Wang U8 is 5.3 meters long, significantly bigger than a Toyota Land Cruiser. This is actually probably a similar size to a Land Cruiser. It's not quite as long, but it is actually wider. It's actually a very unusual vehicle. It has four electric motors. Most vehicles have a maximum of three, but this has one for every wheel. Peak power of 800 kilowatt, that's 1,100 horsepower meaning it can do zero to 60 miles an hour in four seconds. And it's got a very big battery pack. It's 142.7 kilowatt hour pack. So it's bigger than two Tesla Model Y batteries put together. It's a nickel manganese cobalt battery pack from CATL. Gives it a range of 505 kilometers CLTC. So WLTP range is probably 450 kilometers. Not a lot of range. I mean, what's that? about 290 miles of range using a really big battery. And the reason is what I mentioned before, it's insanely heavy. It's 3,300 kilos, so it's about 150 kilos heavier than a Tesla Cybertruck. When it comes to the interior though, I think it looks incredibly premium, not military-like at all. It's got a 15.6 inch central screen, plus it's got two additional 12.3 inch screens at the front. Uh, plenty of screens there. I don't know if it'd be a bit blinding in the sunlight, but anyway, the interior to me looks really nice. How much does it cost? It's not cheap. It's 98,400 US dollars in China. Imagine what it will be overseas. I mean, if it ever came to Australia, I would guess it would be around maybe $200,000. Yeah, it's not something I would personally be considering, but there'll be probably be some high rollers, some gangsters, some um, you know top level criminals who make that kind of money who would be interested in a vehicle that looks like this? And maybe creeping up on your enemies could be a big advantage for these, um, you know. Yeah, I'm joking, of course. Guys, what are your thoughts on this vehicle? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.